are it's been a while i'm sorry if you can hear like baby shark going on in the background but i'm <laughs> finally starting to pick up the camera again i have laundry going right now i am getting a little bit of my energy back i am currently almost 13 weeks pregnant a little bit less nauseous so i'm ready to just get some things done today this video is a collaboration with love every you guys know that i love the love every toys and their products and everything about them. So today I'm just gonna show you how I manage the toy clutter. Um, and I had this video idea planned for a while. They've sent me these products a long time ago and so my son has already been playing with these toys that they gave us from their new subscription box. So it's been a while, but I found out I was pregnant around that time and then I started getting sick and nauseous and I just couldn't do anything and I was tired. The toy clutter is manageable, but it's getting out of hand. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how I manage the toy clutter and like what I do. Um, but I'm really excited to show you some of the new Love Every products that they sent me, as well as take care of this cluttered mess. Um, so as you can see, these are some of my son's toys. Um, we kind of have this room as like a playroom, guest room type situations. Right now I just have everything in here just like stacked on this shelf. We've just been like pulling out new toys and I haven't really been doing what I normally do, which is I like to do like a toy rotation. So um, he also has some toys in his room. So this little shelf has some toys in it and I keep the rest of his toys in the closet. So I have these three I'm sorry, four bins, and I keep the toys in there. Normally, I don't have as many toys out as what's out here right now, but I haven't been putting anything up. So I'm gonna just go through everything. You are probably gonna see my son running around me in the background of this video. I'm gonna just do like a huge toy rotation, get all these shelves looking nice. He will probably tear them apart as I'm putting toys away just because he's gonna be excited that he has new toys out. But it's a way for us to, to not buy a ton and ton of new toys. Um, really the only new toys I ever get are from the Love Every subscription boxes and from whatever else I decide to have Love Every send us. So I try to keep that under control. I try to declutter the toys a lot of the time, especially if he's grown out of them. Um, I'm definitely keeping a little bit for our next baby. I usually do this about every two weeks. It's been about eight weeks since I've done a toy rotation. Maybe six. It's been about six weeks since I've done a toy, ro toy rotation. So it's been a while and that's why it's a mess. Um, but about every two weeks I'll do a toy rotation and it just kind of um, reintroduces old toys to my son. That way I don't have to just keep buying new toys over and over and over again and just keep stuffing his playroom or his room with toys and just it's very overwhelming for a kid to have a ton of toys and I have noticed that he hasn't really been wanting to play with any of his toys so we've just kind of been bringing out like one toy at a time that's like new and he'll play with that for a couple days and then kind of be over it so I'm hoping that this toy rotation will help him to play around a little bit more with some of his toys as we like kind of reintroduce some of the old ones that have been sitting in the closet for several weeks now. I am rambling, I'm talking a whole bunch. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start in his room. So before I sit down and start going through some of this stuff, I did wanna show you guys some of the new stuff that Love Every sent us. Um, we got this little, I don't know what this is, but he has a little pair of tweezers that went, that go with these and he loves these tweezers. So he actually, um, they're actually in our car right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna go get them but you're supposed to use tweezers to like pull these out. And then um, another one of the fun toys that we got was this, um, it comes with like little papers behind here. And so you like are supposed to match up the these little dots and put them on here and it comes in this little board. This one's one of our favorites. I'll probably be putting this one away because he's been playing with it a whole bunch. Okay, so I'm gonna take all this stuff off the shelf and just see what new things I can put on this shelf. So 
couple other things that he got in the Love Every Box was this. It has buckles. It's just a little tube with buckles, I guess. And then I have this little puzzle that he got, and he loves this as well. So um, I'm trying to do a variety of toys down here. I have you guys sitting on the shelf right now. Um, I'm trying to do a variety of different types of toys down here, and I'll show you what it looks like when I am finished. It's guys I have a couple of Easter books that are still out Easter you guys it is almost fall and I have Easter books out so I decided to um, just go ahead I don't know when the next time I'll do a toy rotation hopefully I still be feeling good and I'll just stick with the two weeks but I'm gonna get out a couple of these um, fall Halloween books even though it's almost August even though it's um, not quite fall yet I if I've just been hearing a lot about fall and people have been posting about fall. So I, you guys, I'm ready for fall. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these um, fun little Halloween type books up in his little shelf and do some um, other books to go with it. I could say some things I don't mean, but you know I don't mean it. Try my hardest to change the things I can't stay the same. Oh. Yes, so one of the Love Every books that we got this time around was this Graham Turns 2 book. So since he's about to turn 2, this was perfect timing. I can't stay the same, we're both aware I'm a pain. But you love me anyway. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys when I'm all done. Um because I'm not sure if I want to keep everything that's in here in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my son's playroom. He is interested in a book that I've got out. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to sh show you one of the things that we got. This was not in a Love Every subscription box, but we got this just as a side item. It's a little stroller, and he loves pushing this around. I think it would be especially good if you had a kid that was learning how to walk. Um, he has a little baby doll that he loves to play with, so it was kind of perfect timing for um, him to have while we await the arrival of our new baby. So it was um, perfect just to get him kind of in the mode for um, having a sibling and a new child in the house. Raindrop on the black top, hot stuff, feeling like a robot. Swipe left, scroll down, same chick, but you're living in a new town. I'm on the issue. But you got no taste, wouldn't trade it for its weight and go One of these days Okay, so I'm gonna get a stool because some of the toys that I have for Riker are up at the top of his closet So I'm gonna have to get some things down and then I'm going to show you guys the big old pile I have in the floor. I'm going to have to somehow rearrange everything to fit back into the closet storage. Okay, I got everything down from the closet. <sighs> Let me just show you this mess. I got all these boxes down. Now I've just got to figure out where I want to put everything. I have some of these like musical instruments. I think I'm going to put this in the playroom actually. So I have this little bin that I put in his playroom. And normally I just put like some of the smaller toys in here. Normally it is not this full. I'm just going to I'm just going to put some new things in here. Empty this out just with things he hasn't played with in a while. It's just too full for him to even want to pay attention to it. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some new things in there. One of these days visitor with me he is going through this bin on his own so I'm gonna have to halt this I'm just gonna start putting things back that I know I want to put away so 
let's just see if we can stuff all this back into the closet. doing my toy rotation. I just wanted to show you what it looks like after I do a toy rotation. I usually like to do, I have a little box of instruments, so I usually like to do like one little instrument and like a stacking toy. I like to do a puzzle. So this was the puzzle that I decided to use. I do one uh, shelf of books for him and he really loves to like read like right before his nap and right before bed. So um, we kind of keep that close. I do like to put some balls in here. And then we have some of our new Love Every toys in here. And then we've got some cooking toys. Sometimes I'll switch this out with like like tools or just kind of like um, home type stuff. And then I have another little puzzle here that I like to stick up here just to fill the space. But not a whole lot of things. I like to maybe stick one or two things per little cube. That kind of keeps me in check. The least amount of toys, the better, I've noticed with him and probably with most toddlers um, because they don't get so overwhelmed by all of the toys that they have. So I will also show you guys what I did to his playroom. So I kind of like to do the same thing in here. I put a couple of instruments in here just because this guitar was actually under the bed. So I just went ahead and put it on here. Riker's gonna try to join me. I also put some of the bigger toys up here on the top. And then I have a couple of like stacking type toys in here actually more than I thought I did. But I have um, these cups and then I also have some rings in here. This little book was just already in here. Um, and then in this room, I have a basket of just like smaller toys and I put like baby dolls in here or um, like his little like cars or flashlights. This has some like little tools and stuff in it. So I like to put that in there. Um, the things that stay in this room are this little wagon. I have um, a little tricycle in here. Um, he has a stroller and he has a little tractor. I usually alternate those, but right now they're all out because he wanted to play with all of them. Um, and then I do keep this little washing machine in here. He loves this thing. He got this for Christmas. He's going to play with it because I mentioned it. And then I also keep our ball pit in here as well. So, oh, and I do have books in this room as well. I just keep them in this little nightstand. We use this room as like a half guest room, half playroom. So um, when we have guests... I just take all this stuff out. That is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Super excited for next week's video because it will be a fall clean and decorate with me. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get notifications when I post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.